Hello, all my beautiful Cancer friends. Welcome to your September 16th through 30th, 2020 reading. This is a collective reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your reading. You'll notice when you go to the website, there'll be a, a button to book a reading, and there'll also be another one that's talking about the mystic membership so if you want to be part of the vibe tribe there's a learn more button there and a little bit of a description so you can figure out if that's something you'd like to participate in we are currently learning uh, and beginning this this monday uh, on the the 14th there you go i had to think what day it was uh, on the 14th we will be uh, starting our intermediate tarot and uh, if you'd like to be part of that, please join. You can have access to all the other uh, the beginner videos. I have videos and videos of the so there are videos of the Zoom conference and uh, PDFs of the class subjects. So that being said, let's move right on into our reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine Guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you for your presence, Divine. Um, don't forget, uh, there will be a notice going out as soon as my store is active and up and running. We are doing the fine tuning of, of the products right now, making sure everything is, the descriptions are, are matching what you're seeing. And uh, that's part of the, the harrowing work of it. The fun part was picking the stuff out, but then you have to make sure the descriptions are all right. So that's what I'm working on right now. But any minute, any minute, you just, you're just you going to see a notification. So keep your eyes peeled. So we're going to start off with the Hermit. This is the Virgo Major Arcana. The World. Wow, we're going to go all Major Arcanas here. The Magician. And the Seven of Pentacles. There's your center core reading, my Cancer friends. That's not too shabby at all. Uh, relationship, love life, and spiritual life. We're going to start off with soul family with the Six of Cups. And some money. Hello. We'll take that Ten of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands. Career and finance. We have the Page of Swords. The Queen of Cups, which is your Cancer Queen. And... The Knight of Wands. Very strong energy here. And the Knight of Pentacles is your underlayer. So the money is on the way. It's being dispatched. This particular knight is actually the courier for you. So he is hot footing it right to you with that abundance that's been carved out and put in your name. We like the, the Knight of Pentacles. Here comes the Hermit. This is where we have to do some introspection. I think everybody's got the Hermit so far. As, as soon as I have been laying down these readings, every single one of them has the Hermit. This is talking about that place where we have to do that introspection. We have to have a self-assessment. We have to go over the things that we consider to be uh, truths or uh, fundamental truths, right? Things are changing in our lives. So the things that were true at one point are no longer exactly the same. So um, it requires a little bit of adjustment and self self um, assessment. There you go. So we have the world here, which is coming through the assessment very well because the world card means you are stepping up in a higher level. This is a victory and a new cycle beginning. Very strong. It looks like an Olympic champion. Very empowered. And the empowerment comes from the ability to manifest. We are in this place of being connected to source. The closer you are to the energy of being in a place of faith and absolutely letting go of anything that's fear-based, 
you have the security of manifesting with the positive intention in your heart without canceling it out or giving yourself any negative karma. He's using higher source energy to draw into his crown just like when we do our meditations in the weekly videos. This is the energy that comes through that allows you to manifest in the highest positive energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which means the things that you have put your energy into, i.e. the magician, um, the focus that you've had is actually coming to fruition. It's bearing the fruit. The fruit is on the vine. It's not ready for harvest yet, but always when this shows up, it means harvest is right around the corner, and literally the harvest is over here showing up. So we have relationships, love life, and spiritual life. It looks like we're talking mainly about your finances and financial position here my cancer friends there are things going on here is the six of cups which is soul family energy this is your connection to the people around you and the people who support your vision they also support uh, the difficulties that we face they, they come in to help us get through any of those um, but this is part of Part of the the agreement that we do for each other through many lifetimes now we have the ten of pentacles which is the energy of abundance over a long period of time or a lump sum okay so this is a, this is the the haymaker we're, we're we're very happy to see that ten of pentacles show up and for some of you it is talking about self-employment and or your ability to be in that place of leadership, okay? Because that's what this world card's talking about, and that's what this beautiful queen of rods is. She is take no prisoners, boss lady energy, making boss moves. <laughs> so we have the page of swords showing up, giving you the information you need, or giving you some information. Uh, you may not realize you need it until you look out and go, oh, I'm so glad I already knew that because I can see that uh, there's going to be a little bit, this might be a bumpy ride. So it's okay that there's some clouds in the sky. Sometimes we need rain, especially if we're making some some headway here on this uh, harvest. We, we, you know, the crops die if they don't have rain. So a little bit of rain's okay and, and that'll pass. So don't, don't think it's going to be a big deluge. Now we have the Knight of Wands, which is action must be taken or you're being called to action. And so that is, you might have a, you have, you have a moment to check it out in this time, it's go time. Let's get on it and get it. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say, my Cancer friends. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. I think something flipped. Yep. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you for your presence, Divine. You are always welcome. So, we're going from the, the seeker to the manifester. Again, we've got two magicians here. That's a pretty good start. We've got the empress on top of the world. Three of pentacles. And to all believers. This is an extra bonus card that comes in this deck. I keep them in there because they have their own purpose. We have the Capricorn, Major Arcana, on top of the soul family energy. We have the Hierophant on top of the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Justice card, Libra, Major Arcana. The Hierophant is the Taurus, Major Arcana. So you have three Major Arcanas here. Capricorn, Taurus, and Libra. <laughs> we have the Queen of Pentacles being financially secure and stable. The Two of Rods, that's where you make the decision to move on. You're, you're looking, you're taking an assessment, and your decision is, let's go for it. You're taking a hold of that Two 
that's facing or that one rod of the two that's facing the sun and with this the world in your hand new dawn a new day and it looks like it is the right move you have the six of rods showing beautiful energy of victory this is coming through a battle victorious and the tower tearing down what what has been holding you back tearing down what's been blocking your path so everything's about to change and rearrange on on the on the good side so let's see what we have here we have the hermit assessing looking for the right path making sure that you're in alignment and if you have some some wrong thinking or something that's not quite aligned this light will help you see it it'll kind of stick out you're using your spiritual energy this is an inward journey you're allowing yourself to go within and see what's not quite hitting the right things sometimes we have a skewed vision of what we think to be true and we don't even realize it until we compare it to other people's ideas right we think we think it's the way to be and then something's not quite matching up and somebody says well no that's not how i do it and you go well what do you mean i thought everybody did it that way so i mean <laughs> i learned as a young person not to use uh dishwashing soap to wash a car because the lemon in in the dishwashing liquid will cause rust i'm in texas it's very humid rust is not something you want to promote on your car <laughs> <laughs> so now we have the energy of so you just have to live and learn right so this is manifesting new beginnings here with that beautiful energy of being focused and there it comes through the world card the new opportunity from the top this is not just any old manifestation you're being you're placing yourself on the pedestal of light and you're championing it you're not out of balance you're perfectly in in order ready to make this a new journey and, and begin in this new higher level. We have the Empress, which is helping. This is the beautiful energy of creativity. She's also known as the Muse, very strong energy. And we've got again, another mag magician energy, the Manifester. So he's helping you manifest your path and he's helping manifest your abundance. So you've got the beautiful energy of the Three of Pentacles, which means expansion. And the focus that you put in on these coins here, and whatever comes next, brings double the abundance for the effort you put in. So I like to say double for your trouble. So manifesting abundance like all get out. And boom, look at that. It's really doing well. It's propagating like crazy. This fruit is on the vine. It's, it's making ready for harvest. And then we have to all believers saying, keep the faith. Everything is working as it should. This is a perfect core reading. So these are the details on the sides here. Now this is normally relationship, love, life, and spiritual life. This is what I call it. But the universe tells you what you need to, to know about. And what's happening right now, Cancer, is it's all about the Benjamins, man. So you've got your soul family, which is your, your support group, right? But there might be somebody that's causing some waves or this could be your own self-sabotage that there you know you don't want to be your own worst enemy here so don't get into the fear mode we got to stay in the faith mode okay your faith has to be bigger than your fear now sometimes that capricorn energy is a person and they might actually be a capricorn or they might be somebody who's really repressive it could be a family member or an ex-boss or soon to be ex-boss now we have that beautiful ten of pentacles and the new acceptance into an organization the hierophant stands for a large organization so this is being welcomed in or told that you have been uh, given the clearance to join their group this is the queen of wands being very strong in the energy of having your own business going this can be um, because she's entrepreneurial but then you have the libra major arcana showing the balance the justice card right decisions being made so whether you're going in as a supervisor or you're doing your own thing 
this is showing amazing profit and being brought into the to the fold so to speak and allowing yourself to be very successful if as long as you can stay out of that capricorn energy that's that devil energy that's the back door to, to the subconscious that you gotta guard because those thoughts can run off with you real quick so the page of swords giving you the information you need to make decisions that allow you to be in this position which is the queen of pentacles she is very grounded centered and focused and money at hand she is not having any issues whatsoever a little bit of caution is taken however it's not going to stop anybody we've got this movement the world in the hand and the grasping of that rod moving toward the sun means a new dawn a new day we're seizing the day and the knight of rods beckoning for action he's showing up and saying let's ride it's time to mount head them up and move them out mount your mount your horses everybody let's go so six of rods so the victory is being had from from taking action coming back from battle victorious you've got the sun in the background this is absolutely meaning head and shoulders above the rest this is a ticker tape parade being shown up in your honor people are sending you accolades and praising you so you might go out as a knight into the into the big fray of the world but you come back as a champion so my cancer friends this is an amazing reading it looks like lots of financial success and abundance and the only possible negative energy is that devil card and if that's true it if it's truly taken the form of of the negative energy this is either a person in your life or your own self-sabotage and you have control over getting that person out of your life you can shut them out you can change jobs you can get away from them or if it's you you can shut it down all you have to do is call it call its bluff and say you know what i know that you're trying to scare me but those are only thoughts and i'm not going to allow myself to lose what i'm working so hard for because of this energy so you're just you know the devil is a lie you don't have no control over me i get to say what makes me scared and if i refuse that i cannot receive it and it will just go on its merry way find somebody else who wants to dive into that energy many blessings my cancer friends i'll see you again in october Love, light, and abundance to you. Namaste.